everybody, this is Dave with Spinner Rack Studios and welcome to my channel. It's December 2022, so it's Christmas time and uh, I have changed out the Spinner Racks uh, from the Horror Halloween and I've uh, got primarily Christmas in the racks and so it's time to kind of take a look at some Christmas books, maybe do a few uh, videos here showing Christmas stuff off. You know, this channel focuses on uh, vintage comic books, primarily silver and bronze, with a little bit of um, golden and maybe now and then a little bit more of a modern age book. But um, in keeping with the uh, focus of this channel, um, here we have a, uh, a vintage bubble light. Uh, this is a Peerless Shooting Star Bubble Light. And it gets the name Shooting Star, as you can tell. It's kind of got these little, almost like champagne bubbles that uh, pop up. Uh, this is a pretty rare bubble light. It was made by a company by the name of Peerless. Uh, it was the manufacturer. It was called Peerless Shooting Star. And uh, only made for a couple, two, three years in the uh, very late 40s. Okay, here we have another uh, fairly rare bubble light. This is a uh, Paramount... Uh, Crystal Snow uh, is what they call them. And uh, it's got kind of an oil-based uh, mixture in the uh, tubing there. And so as you can see, it kind of bubbles, so to speak, much like a lava lamp. It kind of has a lava lamp effect. Uh, the bubble is much slower, and it's got that viscous uh, kind of look to it that oil would have. And then finally, here we have a Matchless Star, uh, also known as a Matchless Wonder Star. These two are pretty rare. Uh, they were made uh, in the late 30s uh, for about six years or so. And uh, this is, uh, they made them in three different, uh, well, actually four different sizes. But uh, this is uh, the, the largest size, and it's also a frosted. Uh, what I mean by frosted is compare this to... Compare it to this particular uh, matchless star, which uh, is a, a clear matchless star. All right, well, since this is a, a comic book channel, let's, uh, and not a, a vintage lighting uh, channel, let's uh, get into the comic books. You know, there was a point in my life, uh, and I think this happens to a lot of us, longtime collectors, and, you know, you get out of college and you, you know, buy your first house and then you're faced with furnishing your first house and you know and buying uh, things that uh, you never had to buy when uh, back when you were young uh, teenager or in college and you know these type of home activities revolved around still probably your parents but um, one of the things uh, when I, I got out of college and bought my first house is I really kind of dropped uh, collecting uh, comics, quite frankly. And I started at that time getting into uh, collecting holiday collectibles, partly, as, as I said, uh, you know, when Christmas came around, uh, I wanted Christmas items in the house to brighten up the uh, house for the season. But one area of uh, comic book collecting that I actually continued on or, or perhaps a better uh, way to describe it to start it on is um, buying uh, looking for and buying uh, vintage uh, Christmas comic books which kind of went hand in hand with uh, my uh, Christmas uh, holiday collecting but anyway uh, what you see in front of you here is uh, Sensation Comics number 38 cover date of February uh, 45 which of course means that it uh, was on the stand uh, Christmas of 44 and uh, you know this is probably definitely one of my top five Christmas books um, just uh, fantastic imagery of uh, Wonder Woman acting as Santa Claus you got a villain behind her uh, this was a book that took me a long time to find a very uh, rare book just does not come up for sale very often a lot of times in poor shape uh, goes for a pretty good price typically and then finally I ran across this uh, this copy and um, you know the front cover it, it shows really really well um, it's uh, I think clearly a better the front cover is uh, much better than what the grade would indicate so why did it get a 5.0 well the reason why was because on the back cover you can see there's a, um, a piece missing yeah, there's the other piece that's missing. 
So that is why the comic book got the grade it did. But but really, the front cover is is a, is a beauty. Probably would have came in around the seven seven five, had it not been for the problems on the back. All right. Next up is an issue of uh, Santa Claus Funnies. Great uh, Santa Claus imagery. The 10 center, it says number uh, 302, Del Four Colors. And then we have uh, kind of a more uh, subdued Christmas uh, cover. This is uh, Walt uh, Scott's Christmas Stories. And the uh, number on the uh, cover there is uh, Four Colors, number uh, 1062. And a little bit more of a um, lively cover here is uh, Joe Joy. And uh, here's another Adele Four Colors. Uh, this is Bugs Bunny Christmas Funnies, number nine. And uh, just great imagery there. <laughs> I love Tweety Bird uh, sitting on the top of the book there. Or actually, I guess he's on the uh, shoulder of the, the snowman. This is a, another uh, Dell uh, Santa Claus Funnies. And then let's move to uh, an older... Golden Age, this is Batman 40, uh, number 45 from, uh, came a cover date of uh, early 48, which means, of course, that it was on the, um, on the shelves uh, in 47, of Christmas of 47. And you got to have a, some Rudolph. Uh, this is the 1956-57 uh, DC Rudolph issue. All right. And then we've got, uh, yeah, and another great imagery of Santa Claus Funnies uh, with uh, Jolly Face of Santa there and a couple ornaments. Another Dell Giant, Bugs Bunny Winter Fun. The issue number is, I think, 28. Yes, number 28 there. Okay, here we have uh, Giggle Comics. This is issue number 37. This, uh, this is also kind of a hard issue to, uh, to find, especially, you know, in halfway decent shape with that uh, dark cover on it. And then this one, uh, if uh, YouTuber Ranger Sly is watching, hopefully he is, um, I'm sure he'll, he'll like this Red Rider Christmas issue. And then, moving on, uh, this is uh, Famous uh, Funnies, uh, 161. This is uh, from uh, Christmas of uh, 47. And here's a little Dell uh, Frosty the Snowman action. This is uh, issue uh, 661. And here's one of my uh, my favorite superhero-based uh, Christmas covers, and uh, this is Superman 166. And of course, here we have a uh, imaginary uh, cover with uh, Superman uh, married to a woman. Now, once again, they're trying to kind of hide their identity, but or her identity, but I think it's clearly Lois Lane. 
But uh, here, uh, Superman has two sons, one who has superpowers and one who does not. And uh, here's a great Walt Disney Comics. This is uh, issue number 99, I believe, from uh, 1948. This is really kind of one of my, my favorite uh, Christmas comics. Um, this is Holiday Comics uh, number five, as I recall, uh, L.B. Cole cover. And, you know, you've got the iconic scene here of Santa and the sleigh with the reindeer descending upon a little sleepy uh, town on Christmas Eve. The cool thing about this particular cover, though, is that it's got the Santa Claus is kind of a mixture of of more of the uh, modern Santa Claus compared to the uh, elf uh, Santa Claus uh, back in the Victorian period. So um, just really like that imagery. Just a great comic book. And this is another one that was difficult for me to find, especially in, in decent shape. And then finally, I'm going to end uh, this particular video with... Uh, Batman number 33. This is a uh, cover date of uh, around February of, uh, let's see here, 46. So, of course, that means that this book was out in uh, Christmas time of 45. A little uh, playful uh, Batman and uh, Robin action there. All right, folks. Well, uh, I'll uh, try to keep these videos somewhat short and, and end with this one and hope to do maybe a couple more uh, Christmas related videos. So hope you all are having a happy holidays, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care.